Hey fellow backyard boys, Nick here. So, here's a continuation of our BBC pipe bow failures series. Now I've been getting a lot of people who have been sending me pictures of their bows collapsing. You know, they'll bring it up to full draw and the pipe loses all of its strength, it folds in one area, it folds over. So I wanted to show you one thing that could be a cause of this, especially the ones that happen near the handle, or I've had a lot of people say that the handle is too weak. Now what we do is when we flatten the pipe, I deliberately tell you to keep this section strong. Because as long as you're holding this part, the section right here, if the bow breaks in either side, generally you'll be okay. You know, it may hit you, but that's that's an issue with any type of bow. My main concern when telling you guys to leave the pipe full thickness here is to prevent the pipe from shattering into your hand. Because if that happens, you could lose use of your hand for the rest of your life. And I don't think that's that's not something I mess around with. You know, which is why I personally don't use you know PVC pipe bows that are the normal bend right in the handle type. I don't think those are safe. You know, you can cover them up, but you still have that risk. Now what will happen here is, if you can see, this is this bow came straight off the flattening jig. You notice how I tell you in the videos that you need to heat up this section and puff these out. Now, I probably wasn't too clear. I'm the kind of person that when I make something I like to use jigs as little as possible and do the rest by hand. So I'm going to try and do another video for you guys where we have a, a revised jig that will get rid of this problem right off the bat so you don't even have to worry about it. But for right now I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. Well, what happens is that you see this, you see how there's a hard crease right here and a hard crease right here? The bow is probably going to collapse in one of these spots, probably this one. So I'm going to pull the bow to full draw for you guys, and you get to see it collapse. So here we go. I'm wearing the safety glasses because handle collapses, sometimes these can hit you in the face. This could hit you somewhere else. So just keep that in mind. So here we go. I had a nice gentle collapse. Sometimes it can be a little more forceful. But here you go. The bow just folded right there. And this is the weaker side as, as I predicted for you guys. Now this is not the end of the bow. I'm going to show you how to fix this. And then I'm going to show you what to do to this side. And this is what you'll do to every bow that comes right off the flattening jig to prevent any kind of collapses like this. So let's go fix this thing. So here's our bow with the collapsed handle, or the collapse. This is what you'd call on a bow in technical terms. It would be the fades or the fade outs where the handle transitions into the limb. You want this to be a nice smooth transition, otherwise what just happened here will happen. So what we're going to do is really simple. We're going to heat this up until the pipe puffs back. One thing I like about PVC pipe is that if you have something like this, it's not the end of it. You can usually salvage it. But it's better not to get these collapses in the first place because after, if it collapses in the same spot a few times, which if you do it right, it shouldn't, it'll compromise the strength of the pipe and it could be uh, dangerous. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. Just turn on your heat gun. You want to be gentle and you want to be careful. You don't want to burn the pipe. If you burn the pipe, this could turn a simple collapse into an actual snap or a shatter. Okay, so you can see that the pipe's already starting to come back to shape. It's important that you don't just heat up the creased section because 
the rest of the pipe needs to get soft enough to handle the crease coming back or you might actually get tiny little cracks or tears in the pipe. So now you can see it's puffed out and it's actually the way it was now. Okay, so now take a look at it. You see how the transition here is smoother than this side? This is what you want. You want a nice smooth transition. So there you go. There you go. Good as new, like nothing ever happened. Now what you want to do here is you just want to make sure that it's a nice smooth transition. You don't want a harsh crease like on this side. See how it slopes rather than, you know, angle. So you just let this cool. You want to sight down your bow, make sure the limbs are lining up. You just want to hold this until it cools. Now once this just hardens up a little bit more, okay. So you see that? Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to prevent something like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to heat this part up and do the same thing as if we were fixing a collapse except there will be no collapse. So I'm going to show you that real quick. It's really simple. You just heat this portion up. So then you take it off the heat. Okay. Hold on one second. Okay. So you take it off the heat and you see how now this portion has a similar taper as the other side. You want that to be a smooth transition. You don't want any sharp creases. So now you just let the bow cool off. So once this cools off, I'm going to string this bow up for you guys and I'm going to shoot it just to show that we've fixed this problem. All right, here's the bow. As you can see, there's no evidence of the handle collapse that we had. So now this thing is ready to go. So I'm going to shoot it for you guys. There you go. Now that we've done that fix, this bow will have a nice long life. So there you go. And just if you're making a bow for the first time and you're using a flattening jig, just make sure that the handle looks like this. You don't want any hard creases because that will cause the bow to collapse. But more importantly, you don't want any burns. So the next video I'm going to show you is what happens if you burn the pipe. So, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.